fun. For this video, it is our review of the Random Booster Volume 22. We'll be taking a look at the two prize bays, uh, the Black Achilles recolor right here, and Infinite Achilles. Uh, we'll have a video later on going over the full set, but make sure to leave a like, leave a comment for your suggestion. Whatever is cool, I'll do a video with it and give you a shout out. So, we're going to get started. So first of all, let's go over the main thing, which is that Aiga is back with Achilles and he is awesome. I love the new Achilles uh, design and this is really an expansion on Union Achilles because Union Achilles just had one piece where it was the Union Swords. But now there's the infinite sword and the infinite shield, and of course just the regular balance mode. So we're of course gonna be taking a look at this. Uh, there are other bays in the booster, but we're not gonna go over it. Um, just to quickly go over to the back of the packaging right here. Uh, you can just see there are the other bays in the booster. And uh, just to zoom in a bit more, yeah, I get this here. So I need to actually explain this because it is super important. So the rates for the Achilles are very different uh, it's kind of like Death and Abyss rates, but the cool thing is this. So there's the main sword and the shield, the yellow one you get on the black Achilles, the blue you get on the normal. But if you pull Drigger, I believe one of the, I believe Drigger is the shield, and then after if you pull Dragoon you get the alternate color to the swords. So that is a very good move by TT, so that way you don't have to buy so many. If you get one of them, you can probably pull the other one and get sword and shield. So just to mention that. Uh, other than that, uh, we're just going to go over to top just to show. So there's balance mode where it's no sword or shield. There's an infinite sword and then after uh, the, you can see the, the, the infinite uh, shield there. But uh, there's nothing really else of importance on the box other than what's inside, which is where we're going to quickly go over the little flyer for next month. Uh, you can see for an attack combo, you get infinite Achilles with the sword, 1A evolution dash. With shield, you get 1B Mobius. And then after for a balance combo, 1S wheel wave. Then after the teaser for next month. And of course, what else is also coming for next month? We're gonna go over to our first part by part, which is the new Achilles chip. Now the design on this is absolutely amazing. I'm going over the recolor because I really like it. Uh, so what they did when I really liked this was that originally with uh, Union Achilles, it was based on the Z Achilles design. But for this new Achilles, they based the chip design off of Chosey Achilles. So that was really cool. The chip core in the center is very nice. They actually got it colored with a little bit of black on the inside. So just to show it, because I'm sure people always ask about it, it seems to be the exact same with no real uh, important, like it's no, there's no change. Like most of the chips are the same, except for I think like Valkyrie or Longinus or something where it's specific. Going over to our ring, which is Infinite. So Infinite does not have any metal on it. Doing that thing like they did with Union, which actually we're gonna show on the side here. I'm gonna actually rotate this, where it's just a little bit of paint. After that, it's just plastic. So I'm not too sure how good it's gonna be on its own with the standard mode, but I do wanna show off all the accessories, how it looks like. This is the black ring with the blue swords. Perfect, you can see the shape and everything with the swords too, how it curves up and everything. Very similar to uh, the Union swords. Looks really cool. So with the orange swords, uh, it looks very, very nice. I think this matches the black one really, really well. It looks fire. This looks fire. Hold on, give it a second. Looks very, very nice with uh, the black shield on there. So just to show it again, I think this is probably the best one you can make for a combination. Not like for performance, just visually, it looks so cool. And then after the last one, what it actually comes with, which is the yellow shield. So these are very easy to pop on and pop off, even easier than Union. Uh, so that was that's what it looks like. So we give a breakdown on this. The difference between the sword and the shield is that you can see that the sword has more of a wider sort of pushback on the blade, while this one is more rounded and close to the ring. So I honestly like the shield a little bit more than sword, but in the comments you can tell me your thoughts on this. I think this is really interesting how they pulled off the gimmick. Moving on. We then after have the 1D chassis, so the biggest rant I'm going to give is that uh, I understand that TT can't do everything. But listen, double chassis, we've got in two recolors, which has been 1A, blue on Tempest, and 1B on the Infinite Achilles. They, they need to give more double chassis, if not now, at least for the future, because I am sick and tired of getting like 51Ds and 51Ss. Like, we're gonna get the whole color spectrum of the, these chassis. 
Wendy is not even, uh, it, it's whatever. They just put it probably because it's a uh, shield, so defense. It's not that special. Anyways, we then have to have the disc, which is seven. Sure. Now, yeah, nothing really to say there. I'm fine with the seven disc choice. So we have the driver, which is loop. This is a bit disappointing because, you know, loop is not really a good driver. Like, it looks nice with the metallic uh, black paint on it, but uh, they definitely should have just done uh, loop dash or something or loop metal. Make something new. Because this is such an outclass god driver that we've already gotten recolors for, so it, they should have just made it new instead of just uh, repeating this. So we've got the scale here. So just to get this over with for the, the parts so that we don't have to re-weight them, the orange swords are a total of the one that I have, 5.36. Blue swords, 5.4. Yellow shield, 4.94. How much is a black shield? 4.96, okay. Uh, so that was just to show it uh, with the thing. The actual infinite ring is a, a, a measly 5.4.8 uh, with the other accessories. So let's say if you, so I'm gonna just do this now and I'll do the same for the other one. So let's say I wanna put uh, the black shield on it. So it is a total of about 10.45. Uh, then after if I wanna put the yellow uh, shield on this, you get to a total of 10.43. Then after that, if you want to put the orange swords, you get to a total of about 10.84. And then after for the blue swords, you get to about like 10.88. It's, it's all right weight, I would say. Uh, Infinite Achilles with the chip on is about 3.12. That's actually nice for a chip weight. Moving on, we of course got the one d chassis. So the 1D chassis on its own is about 11.27. Then after we, of course, uh, just to make sure you show this. Yeah, there you go. Seven disc, just to show it. Loop, just to show it. And then after all together now, first off, this is what uh, the balance thing looks like, which is really weird. But uh, without the accessory, you're looking at about 49 grams. Now, putting the proper accessory on it, which is the shield. We're going to see how much it is for the actual stock combo. So just to put this on, lock it in. Let's see how much we get to the total of. We get to a total of 54 grams. Now the last thing I want to show, which is important before we move on, that way I don't need to repeat it, is actually, I'm gonna leave it here. We can already kind of see it, but it's just to show the gap in the chassis with the chip. So if you can see, is it there? It's just to see if the ring raises it or not. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna tap here. So I don't believe, I believe we kind of get this at normal height. I don't think the ring is raising it or anything. Cause if it raised it, we'd have an issue where Glide were a burst easy, but that's just to show it. So that way people, if they're wondering about burst resistance, oh, Jesus Christ, this looks amazing. All right, moving on to the other one. Here we have the chip, which is the Infinite Achilles, the actual one, and it is amazing. I love the chip design. Very good design for a chip. It looks amazing. Beautiful colors with the gold and everything. The sparking chip core is a very nice sort of gold in the center, which is meant to mimic the sort of gold that it also had with the emblem inside. This is beautiful. Amazing design by TT. So just to see right here, just to show that shot right there. Moving on, we're gonna go to the infinite ring. Infinite ring, so something I've already mentioned, which we're just gonna go to the side shot, is that we've already, first of all, we've already went over this, and it is a little bit, uh, it is a wee bit hollowed out on the inside, just to show, so I don't think standard mode, or whatever, balance mode is gonna have that much use. I believe with the accessories is probably where you're gonna get it. Maybe if someone can find some use on it, just to show the shape and everything. It's, it'll be okay, I'll probably hit fine in balance mode, but I feel like you're gonna get uh, something more worth mild in uh, the accessories. Anyways, with that being said, we're gonna move on to putting on the sword accessory, just to show it. Looks amazing with this accessory on it. Dude, that looks sick. Hold on, let me just get this balanced. Get a little bit zoomed out. There you go. Looks amazing, this looks amazing, amazing. There you go looks so good so so good and plus when you put on the accessory since we're already showing it it fixed the hollowness on the, the ring so that's definitely a plus so for weight compensation you can definitely see so anyways move. the chassis we get on this is 1b it is a red 1b so that means it can go with the red king fafnir 
Uh, it looks nice. I don't believe there's any notable differences on this, but just to give a side shot just in case so we can just inspect this. Looks very nice. Uh, the only complaint I did have was that uh, doesn't really make sense for Achilles not to have a new chassis because 1B doesn't really go with any of the modes. Probably was just an uh, easy way for TT just to uh, throw in a chassis. You know, they should have made a new one. Anyways, uh, moving on to a really exciting part. So in regards to the new tip of Dimension Dash, we actually saw this previously with Lord Spriggan. Uh, this new one, I believe the rubber is a little bit, uh, what do you call it, pulled out a bit. So it's a, I believe it's a little bit taller, a little bit more pushed out. So that is a very, very good thing that TT did, the upgrade. So this is the new Dimension Dash right here. It is a very good thing that TT did that because Dimension Dash wears down over time because of its rubber. So the fact that they made it like this, which you can see the difference there, is very good. For those that don't know about Dimension Dash, we're going to go to our top angle right now. Dimension Dash worked like this. There was attack and balance mode. So balance mode was where the rubber sharp point would be. And then after attack mode, as you would increase it, it would get flat, then tall. And then after you got what I call the super duper attack mode, where it's the tallest mode uh, there. So of course, this is really awesome. I do hope they, re they uh, reprint more of this upgraded Dimension Dash because this makes Dimension Dash a, a little bit more useful. Plus two, if you're not a fan of the colors, you can always use the one on Lord Spriggan, which matches more of Chosey Achilles. Anyways, we're gonna go into the wing. All right. All right, we have the scale right here. The chip, 3.13, very nice. Then after, I'm not gonna do the thing with the other ring, because I'm sure it's just gonna be a slight difference. You can just do the math on it, 5.45. Swords, I, I already did the swords. So together now with the ring and the sword, just to show with the actual one, you're getting at about 10.85. I'm sure with the shield, probably just something a little bit uh, different. Moving on to the 1B chassis, we place it on there right. 43 grams on the dot. That's a little bit interesting to see. And I only had one star on it. Dimension dash here, 7.38. So now getting this fully, fully assembled. How much do we have it at? 64 grams! That's why we need more double chassis, TT. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna hold them two together, and then after we're gonna quickly go over the previous evolutions. So overall, the only thing that really does suck about this random booster is the rates. I don't know if TT is just trying to purposely kill the random booster by making the prize bay is hard to pull. But one thing that's very good that they did was the alternate options on the sword and the shield. That way, if you pull one of them, uh, you're at least not getting left out in the dust. I do like the idea that Achilles has regular sword and the shield. That way, it really does feel like it's a balanced type with how many options Iga would have. Uh, that being said, as I'm going to slightly move it to the back, I think for an Achilles evolution, I feel like Achilles definitely did get uh, better as it went on. I felt like Chosey Achilles uh, was really cool. Maybe Union Achilles, they could have done a little bit more, but I feel like Infinite Achilles is the perfected idea of Union. I love this quite a bit, and Achilles is probably one of my favorite bays uh, for Burst. Same with Iga, one of my favorite bladers. That being said, we're going to set up the stadium, we're going to do battles, and we're going to see what works. Okay, let's do the test launch for everything. We, of course, got the shield Achilles. Three, two, one, go shoot. So just seeing how this spins, it is beautiful. It looks so good when it's spinning, and I really like it. Oh man, look at how cool the colors are and everything. Dude, that, that, those were amazing colors on the thing. So, to make this a little bit more fun, instead of just doing one test launch where it has the accessory on, and then after not doing the other one, I do want to do one test launch without the shield, that way people can just see how it looks like when it's spinning, so we get an idea. So I'm just going to launch this, three, two, and go shoot. Just to see. I do also believe uh, TT did uh, mention actually uh, that they used uh, gunmetal paint on the black Achilles to really make it look very nice when it's spinning. And I must say, this is really a beauty to look at. So we're gonna quickly stop that Achilles. We're going to get the sword Achilles. So three, two, one, go shoot. So we're just gonna have it spin like that. I, I put it in balance mode on purpose, that way I can have time to switch on the other one. Again, looks amazing when it spins, and I really love what they did with Achilles. So with that being said, we're going to do 
quick launch without the swords on it. So that way we show off everything so people don't say we missed out on one particular thing. So just without the swords, just to quickly show it off. Yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. So what we're gonna do now is I have some very cool opponents for it to go up against. So we're gonna show off sword, shield, and normal. I do wanna show off normal just to get an idea. So we're going to get for our first opponent, I'll put this in the tallest mode. We got it in uh, standard balance mode, rage, longiness, and we're gonna go, to go against regular Achilles. I, it appears I have been pocketed out. Uh, we'll do, uh, we'll do now with the actual, uh, actually, you know what? we'll go through all the bays, then after we'll put on the accessories. So now, next up, we're gonna do World Spriggan, just to see how it's gonna do against, uh, World Spriggan. So right now we're doing a battle against World Spriggan, the Mighty Bay. This is against Balance Mode. Without the accessory, whatever. This should this should beat uh, World. It should, it should. Will it? That's the question. Ooh. Okay. So now we've all, we're, we're already getting an idea. So for the next one, we're gonna do it actually against the Shield Achilles. Just to see. Then after we'll put on the accessory and we'll do the same thing. So this is against Achilles with the, the shield on it, just so we can show off standard and then after we'll put on the accessory of the swords. I am getting the idea that maybe without any of the accessories, it's not that good. Oh, it at least got very close to beating it. All right, so enough messing around. Let's put on the swords on this thing and let's see how much of a powerhouse it actually is. And then after we'll just do the same uh, with the shields. So I'm now gonna be putting on the infinite swords and we're gonna do battles against uh, these bays. First off, the rematch. So now this is with the swords accessory, so you can obviously see I'm gonna have a lot more attack potential with these hits. Oh yeah, way better, way, definitely way better. Because the issue, okay, well stamina is always gonna be an issue, but because uh, the thing is uh, when you have you know, Achilles like that, and you have the thing already hollowed out, it kind of makes it a little bit difficult uh, to have some real good use for it. For shield, so we make this easier, we're gonna put 1B Dimension Dash. So we're gonna mirror the combo that we have, just to do another rematch, just to truly see. So. Who's gonna take it, the sword or the shield? We're gonna see between these two mighty bays. Amazing. All right, so now, just to go over the accessories, we'll do uh, quick matches. We'll do a rematch against Rage. Rage is still pretty powerful, but we could see that the shield was able to definitely have a little bit more defense against uh, Rage Longinus. We're then after gonna do it against Rage again, but with the Sword Achilles. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Maybe one more match and then after we'll have an extra one just to end off against uh, Rage. Yeah, there we go. Don't KO it. Whoa. Oh, an amazing KO by Infinite Achilles. Now, this wouldn't be a good way to end off without doing it with one round against Brave Valkyrie. So for our final match, we'll do it against Sword and Shield, and we're done. I guess uh, Brave Six Bladed too. Achilles, don't fail. And it's so cool now because Brave has Evolution Dash and Achilles has Dimension Dash, mirroring Chosy Valkyrie with Evolution and Chosy Achilles with Dimension. All right, that was Valkyrie. We're just gonna do our final round with uh, the shield against Valkyrie, see what's up. And then after we get final thoughts. Uh, 
Yeah, Brave is still pretty strong, I see. So, is Infinite Achilles a weak bay? No, not at all. I feel this is definitely solid for what TT was able to uh, for what TT was able to pull off. I think personally, uh, I like the both of them. I like the options that you can have. I think the one weakness to this bay is bounce mode. I don't see any use for without the sword or without the shield just because it's hollowed out and doesn't feel like it's going to have that much oomph to it. Uh, what would you say? Which one do you like more, sword or shield? Sword? I, I'm going to go with shield. In the comments, you can decide. And for battle steel, I'll probably just keep it the combo like this. That way uh, I can pretty much just swap easy. That's going to be it for now. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome and amazing day.